stop playing with my nigga Uzi, man. Uzi be talking that shit. Just like I got four bitches and they all dimes. You know what I'm saying? Real shit, they kind of me out. Yo, Uzi be talking that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one nigga flow who I ain't never gonna get. Like, I don't get the regular nigga flow, but that's one nigga flow who I ain't never gonna be able to catch. Like, I knew it was crazy though. I never actually heard a nigga recite Uzi lyrics word for word how he said. Niggas always know him. But niggas don't recite it how you do it. That nigga flow is hard as shit to catch. Like, don't get that nigga left. I'm mean, like, what's the name of that song, right? When he be like, uh, the bitch was sucking his dick. Then the mom walked in and said, baby, what is happening? You look at daddy, said, pastor. She said, mommy, I'm just doing the Kaepernick. I couldn't get that one little part for shit. I'm like, how the fuck did he, how the fuck did he manifest that shit? Like, he was like, my mom bust said, like, what the fuck is happening? You know you can follow the cap? That shit hard. <laughs> I can't catch it. I'm like, listen, I know what he said. Listen, I, I jump in every other fifth word and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just got to jump in his shit and jump the fuck back out if I fuck the whole song up. Real rap. I never heard a nigga recite a, a little Uzi lyric ever in my life. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, somebody had DM me and was like, um, I want you to talk about, you know, the, the insecure woman in today's society and shit like that. So I already talked about that, but... I want to ask y'all a question about um, This question for the females too though So if you're one of these females Just shed some light on one situation You know The comments is going to shed a lot of light I just want, I just want to uh, I want to see what's going on So Does it matter What a nigga do To make you feel secure You still want to have your doubts And you still want to be insecure Yes or no it don't matter if he treats you like you're the only girl in the world. If you are an insecure female, would you always be insecure? Or a lot, a lot of the times females are insecure because of the guy they messing with not making them feel secure. I just want to know. So I want to be able to tell my fellas that there's some hope at the end of the tunnel. I want to be able to tell my fellas that. Because a lot of dudes do feel like they be doing what they can do. But no matter what they do, the bitch always think that, you know, Oh well, I'm insecure, it is what it is. You know? But then after you answer that, ask yourself with this question. Do anybody admit that they're insecure? Because I never really heard somebody admit, yo, man, cause no, because I'm insecure about shit like that. So I, I never heard somebody, you know, admit that, that they was insecure. So I'm asking y'all, would you either admit that you was insecure or do you want to try to make it seem like you're not and, and everything is the other person? They're gonna believe what they want to. somebody or somebody is you know just so below you in this life we keep that shit a buck you know damn well if you was an insecure motherfucker or insecure about a situation you wouldn't fucking say it don't even make it think like, first of all how would you even say it? yeah so like when my niggas be going out like i be real insecure about where they be going never heard the bitch say that niggas yeah, man, when my bitch go out, bro, like, I be real insecure about this shit, bro. Like, I don't know what, like, I don't never heard a nigga say it. So don't get on here to make it seem like, oh, if I was, if I was uh, insecure, I was, no the fuck you want, because uh, let's just be real. Everybody has a percentage of insecure in them. You know, fuck how thorough, real, gay, straight, black, white you is. Everybody has, you know, a percentage of insecureness in them. Some people shit is above average, and some people shit is, is around the person average, and some people shit below average, you know? My shit is about the average person insecure, you know, like, you know. But don't make it seem like you just ain't got no insecurity, because everybody do. That's just how the game works, so for instance, right? You might got insecurities based off past, past shit, right? So a nigga might... 
said he had a job, right? And he was working long hours, right? He might have told you, oh yeah, I got a job. I work long hours, right? You believed him. Come to find out he had a whole second life, right? That broke your heart. That fucked you up. Oh my God, he cheated. Oh my God, how did I know, right? Two years fast forward, two years later, you would have knew that. And he just said, you know, I got to work long hours and, you know, I got to do this at a third. Based off your past, you are already going to have insecurities about when he go to work because you've been hurt by somebody who's been saying that they've been going to work. That's an insecurity that the average person will have. It comes from experience. So everyone has an insecurity based off experience. When your shit is not based off experience or no type of scientific proof or no type of sign of nothing, then you are the insecure person that's beyond the average. Everyone is insecure about, you know, things that happened in the past because you scared. Like, damn, like, the, the nigga told me he had a job working long hours, kind of found out he had a double life. Then you meet somebody else that's saying the same thing. You're going to be thinking about that double life, dude, because it, it, happened, it happened to you. That's regular shit. That's, that's what you call probable cause. But for you to think that a motherfucker is just lying, being sneaky, cheating, whatever, and you, they don't even give you a sign, proof, you ain't even experienced this shit, you just think that people just, you're an insecure person. And you're not, never really going to be happy because one thing about an insecure person, they, they fighting themselves. So basically, this is how insecure look if it was a picture, right? Let's say you watching a video on Instagram, right? And it's one dude and it's another dude, right? They're about to fight. But one of the dudes start hitting himself. And then the other dude start hitting him. Who do they going with? The person that didn't hit himself, right? Exactly. Take that same logic and put it into who you are, right? When you fighting, when you insecure, you're, you're fighting yourself. You don't want to believe you're happy. You punch in the air. You just don't think that this person is capable of telling the truth. But you still want to be with them. You don't think this person is doing nothing, but you think they doing something. You don't think this person will lie, but you think they lying. You're fighting yourself. You're never going to be happy. You're never going to win in life fighting yourself. You want to fight goals, and you want to, and you want to, you know, you want to fight poverty and fight and fight things that's going to better your life. If you fighting yourself, my nigga. I swear to God, you ain't never going to win. So that's for people with insecurities. They want to hit women or, or the bitches want to hit the guys or whatever. That's something they got to deal with themselves. If you deal with an insecure person, my advice to you is to get far away. Because it's nothing you can say or do. They're fighting themselves. But until they sit their ass down, and I mean literally, sit their ass down, you know, and be like, yo, I'm on some nut shit. Like, what the fuck is going on? You know, like, all right, I... I've been through this when I was coming up and motherfuckers ain't never show me this when I was coming up or, you know, but all that shit don't matter. When you first born, you got a clean slate. When you turn 16, you got a clean slate. When you turn 18, you got a clear slate. That's it. Those are the only three times you got a clean plate. That's it. After you pack, and when you first born, you a child. You gonna make mistakes. It's forgiven. When you're 16, your slate is right clean. Nobody care what you did when you was a kid. You're 16 now. You want to catch a little case. That's fine. You're a juvie. When you turn 18, your, your slate right clean again. Bam, that's it. It's your last chance. Everything past 18, my nigga, I don't want to hear it. It's my mom, but it's my dad. My parents was divorced. My mom was on crack. My dad had life. Nobody cared about none of that. You, you're 18 now. You're grown. All that shit doesn't matter. From the time you was 18 and before, that should have shaped you to become the man that you're going to be. Because the same thing that can break you, it can make you. So the same way how you dealt with your mom and dad breaking up and you lost your mind and you acted out of school, another kid, mom and dad broke up and they got stronger and better in school. One kid sent his mom on drugs and said, I don't want that for me. So he went to school and passed. One kid sees his mom on drugs and lost his mind, and he starts selling it. There's always two outcomes. It's never like you do one thing and one thing gonna happen. There's always two outcomes, my nigga. My life wasn't the fuck perfect. I didn't see shit that a 12-year-old should've never seen. But you can't hold that shit against yourself or nobody else. It's nobody else's job to come into your life and make you happy. You already have to be willing to already make yourself happy and then somebody else come into your life 
and they and you know and, and they compliment your happiness. That's the thing. You want to find somebody that's going to compliment your happiness, not make you happy. Why? If you give them the power to make you happy, you give them the power to make you sad. You give them the power to make you mad. That's why. Somebody making you happy is too powerful. I want you to understand that. Somebody making you happy is too powerful because they can fuck your life up because they make you happy. So if they leave your life right now, you're sad, you're mad, you don't want to stand, you're depressed, you're going through it. You want to fuck a hundred niggas now. You let that one person just fucking that up because he made you happy. But when you already had peace and you was happy before you met that motherfucker and they complimented it, that's fine. Because when it's time for them to go or it don't work out, you're going to be perfectly fine with or without somebody. Don't put all your haze in one fucking basket by thinking, oh, well, this person, oh, I like this person because he makes me happy. No, bitch, you should already been happy. I don't give nobody the power to fuck my whole life up. I'm not saying, like, if you love somebody and y'all break up for whatever reason, it's not going to hurt, but you're going to bounce back faster. You're not going to be bitter. You're not going to want to go bust the one out of his car and twatch his old bitch or his new bitch page or throw shots. You're not going to do none of that because that wasn't even who you was before you met him. I was going to be you after you meet him. But a lot of y'all finding people that make you happy. So that's why you on a gram. You won't even fuck with him for a month. You on a gram. You post it, oh, my babe. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for coming into my life. And then as soon as you have a little falling out, all the pictures get took it down, blocked each other, making it seem like then boom, boom, boom. And then he probably say sorry or y'all get back together. And then you want to get on the gram like, oh, y'all need to mind your business. Don't worry about what we The fuck? what are you talking about? You was the one that did all that shit. We all did, we all just been there. I'm not putting nobody out. We all just been there. We all just been there. You see what I'm saying? But that's what I mean by somebody else making you happy. You got to make your own self happy. It's, you know how hard it is for somebody to keep making you happy every fucking day? Let me tell you. If it's my job to make you happy, do you know how hard that is? I'm going to break it down to you exactly how hard it is, right? You already got a job, right? Some work at McDonald's, some work at the fucking airlines, some work at Amazon, right? You first get the job, right? How are you when you first get a job? Help me out. I want y'all to help me tell this story because I know all y'all know where it's going. Help me tell this story, right? You first get the job, right? They call you for the interview. The interview went great. They send you an email. When can you start orientation? How you feel? How do you feel at that moment when they tell you you have orientation, you have the job? How do you feel? You feel good. You hype as shit. Right? You hype, ooh, I'm hyping to the motherfucker. Yes, I got the bitch, I got the job, right? Alright. You DM that bitch, right? She DM'd you back. Y'all been talking for a little minute. Y'all finally see each other. She look how the pics look, right? Y'all keep texting and talking. She said, oh my god, like you perfect. I want you to be my nigga. How you feel at that moment? You feel good. Oh, I got the bitch. I always want to How you feel? Talk to me. How you feel at that moment, right? Okay, cool, cool. Now watch this. Six months into the job. Then what? Start calling out. Dumbass excuses. You know, I ain't really trying. I'm not, I'm not really trying. I ain't really trying to be here today. Fuck it, I want to get sent home. You going to do nut shit, right? You was hyped when you got the job. But then you got the job, and you don't even want the job. Well, you don't even like the job, right? So take that same logic into when you make somebody make you happy. That shit is a job now. He going he gonna to do good at that job in the beginning. He going to have you all in love in the beginning. But what's going to happen when he get tired of doing that job? What's going to happen then? Nigga going to quit. Going to start calling out. He ain't going to be at his best performance. None of that, right? Don't make somebody making you happy a job. Because niggas don't like jobs. I'm telling you that right now. Vice versa. Niggas don't like jobs. And that's the best way that I can break it down for you. Niggas don't like jobs. Making a job... He you won't do that shit good in the beginning, but after you get tired of that shit, it's over. You supposed to be happy because you happy. What the fuck is going on in your life? See, the thing is, right, you start fucking with somebody, and you kind of lose track of your own life and start trying to build shit around somebody else that you don't even know that's going to be around. Let's just say you're 25, right? You got a lot of shit going for yourself, right? And you meet somebody else. Why would you stop? worrying about your life and start planning life around somebody else. Just give me a good reason why. Though. I just want to know why. Why would you do that? Right? If you take care of yourself, 
did you take care of your relationship? This is mainly for the females. This is strictly for the females. Some cases the guys, but right now I'm talking to the females. If you take care of yourself, you take care of the relationship. And I want you to understand that because a lot of times, y'all females be wanting to build a life around somebody who, let's just be real, the chances of that shit working out ain't that high. Don't lose sight of your goals and what you wanted to do. If you wanted to be a fucking, a fucking doctor before you met him, then you better want to fucking be a doctor while you with him. You get what I'm saying? A lot of y'all take a, a step back and, and rely on somebody. The same way you ain't had nobody to go to when you were single, same mindset you should have when you're in a fucking relationship. You don't take your foot off the gas, oh, well, I got a nigga now, so, like, if my rent, if my rent come through and I ain't got it, I know he gonna help me. No. I'm not saying, I didn't say there's some cases where it don't happen. I said that better not be your mindset. Your mindset is always get your coins and maintain happiness. That's it. Take care of yourself. Take care of the relationship. So when y'all keep asking me, oh, Rich, how you and Vaj like that? Or y'all ask Vaj, oh, how you get rid of Let me tell you something. Vaj take care of herself. Right? Rich take care of himself. Right? That's how we take care of each other. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you why taking care of yourself helps the relationship, right? Would you want to be with a bitch? That always need to help pay the bill, or always need the money to get her hair done, or always need the money to get her nails and feet done, or always need her to ride? No. But you deal with a nigga who always needed you to take him somewhere, always needed some money, living house to house? No. Because that ain't what you want to deal with. So if somebody taking care of themselves, they taking it off a year back. You get what I'm saying? Like, now I know. When Vash and me her nails and feet done, right? Grandma, I can pay for it or not. I ain't got to. And if she want to pay for it, that's what she going to do. If she want to maintain her appearance for me and look good or whatever else, that's fine. Vice versa. She don't pay to get my hair cut. She don't pay for my clothes. She don't do none of that, right? So that's a burden off of her. But that allows us to be able to focus on each other because we already took care of ourselves. If I'm taking care of you, how the fuck can I focus on me? It's hard to do both. And that's not even strictly about money or material things. However, whatever aspect you want to look at it, like the, it works for every every aspect, you know. Mentally, do you want to deal with a nigga who keeps saying, "Oh, a last bitch hurt him, and he don't know how to do this and that third"? Do you want to keep dealing with a bitch who say, "Oh, well, all niggas ain't shit"? No, you don't. Same fucking thing. You got to bring something to the table. Everybody want to bring a plate and fork to the table. Okay, well, you bring a plate in the fork. I'm going to bring a plate in the fork. I'm going to match your energy, right? I, I like this saying, oh, you got to bring something to you. Oh, I bring, okay, cool. Everybody want to bring a plate in the fork. Okay, bet. Then I'm going to bring a plate in the fork. All right, what we going to eat? We going to drink. Shit, what we going to sit? Oh, everybody think about that. Oh, you okay, cool. So, there's levels. You don't have to be... On that particular person you deal with level Mentally, financially, whatever You don't have to be on a level You just gotta be in range Because let's just say We brought We both brought food to the table The fuck we gonna eat with Where we gonna sit So if you bring Play in the fort and I bring food See now we making noise now See now we doing something So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all Oh, all my nigga. Oh, I can't fuck with a nigga who ain't got no money. Oh, I can't fuck with an ugly bitch or a bitch who ain't got no ass or a bitch. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. But understand that two people with their own money not always good. Two people that got their own shit together not always good. How many times you been with a nigga or a bitch and y'all both was lit and it didn't work out? That ain't the answer. You need to find somebody that completes you. That's it. Somebody that's gonna match you, not. I got money, he got money. No, that's not always the case. That's why they say I'm a sister track. Because that's just the way it goes. See, y'all y'all spend too much time looking for people to do something for you. In reality, all my niggas got to have money. I can't fuck with no broke ass nigga. That, that's okay to live. If you ain't looking for love or whatever else, that's okay. Oh, my nigga got to have a car. My nigga got to That's fine. But when y'all going to start... 
fucking with people for who they are. You know? You are already about to open your legs because he got money in the car. The nigga can't even think for shit. Nigga, dead ass retarded. But I got money in the car and you already about to open your legs because he got the two requirements that you wanted. And they're not even requirements. Material is a thing should never be a requirement because that's too easy to gain. Oh, I want a nigga with money. You know what I mean? Niggas with money. That, that means your legs just opened up to every nigga with money. In all reality, right? Oh, my nigga gotta have a car. You know what I mean? Niggas got cars. You selling yourself short. That's why you keep fucking with nut ass niggas because your standards is based off nut ass niggas. Y'all bitches don't ever say, I just want somebody that's just going, you know, just, you know, bring me peace and just, you know, compliment my happiness. And y'all never want that. Y'all want some material shit that almost every nigga got. That's why your legs is always open. But I bet you if your goals was more, more emotional and more, you know, intellectual, your legs won't open up so quick to every nigga because every nigga not going to give you this. I'm not saying he dumb. But every nigga not gonna give you that. Every nigga not gonna give you that deep ass conversation. Every nigga not gonna wanna have an intellectual conversation with you. That's why your legs is not gonna open up so fast because every nigga not willing to go there with you. That's why you on the phone talking to a nigga and you don't know how to shut up and he like, alright, well, I met you with a little bit. Every nigga not gonna give you that. Cause his mindset is set on fucking you. You don't wanna get all deep into knowing you and all that. That's why. Your legs gonna keep on opening because your standards for niggas is like, bitch, that's every nigga. Nigga gotta have a car. That's it. Once you see a nigga with a car in your mind, subconsciously, you're gonna fuck him because he got something that you said your nigga must have. Oh, my nigga gotta have money. A nigga show you money or, or, or you know, and he got money, he gonna fuck you subconsciously because you already thinking in your mind, he got what I want. That's why y'all bitches always getting fucked. Because your standards don't even make sense at all. Why you think niggas don't always got a girlfriend? The nigga's standard might be something that every bitch can't just offer him right away. Like he might say, oh, I, oh um, you know, I don't want no, uh, I don't want no intermixed ass chick, right? Fully got a lot of intermixed ass chicks, right? So when he meet an intermixed ass chick, subconsciously he know, I'm just going to fuck this bitch because she ain't even my fucking type of what I'm looking for. He ain't gonna cut you off. No, he gonna fuck you. And then he gonna move on. Yeah, man, I'm looking for a girl who ain't in the mix. You know, got her mom right prior to school. Okay, cool. Man, he gonna meet a bitch who got her mom right. She ain't in the mix. He did his little thigh facts. Ain't nobody fucked. She go to Lord Drex and she mind her business. She real low key, little pretty. And that's the one he gonna like because she met his standards. Subconsciously, before he even fucked her, he knew that that was gonna be his girl. Y'all females are very bad at having standards. You think, oh, my nigga got to have money and a car. That's standards. That's just standard. Like, bitches say that. Oh, I, oh, I have another fucking nigga with no money on no car. Oh, man. And then, and then, this is actually funny. I got something for you, right? You want to know how many bitches, right? This is, this is funny to me, right? You want to know how many bitches that still fucking somebody that they don't even like nor love simply because the nigga probably helping pay a bill or whatever else it just fucked up that you attached to a motherfucker you don't even like you don't even love but the nigga pay a little bill or he pay your bills or he pay half your bills or all your bills and you gotta keep that nigga around that's that's sad that's that's sad like damn so you not gonna meet a new nigga who, who could probably make you happy or you know compliment your happiness or you know love you for who you are and you know whatever else you going to stop all that all that shit out there because you stuck on well i'm fucking with homie because he pissed that's sad <laughs> that's sad and you know and, and if that's you you're not a bad person you're not a hoe you're not none of that it's just sad that you have to continue to mess with somebody who you don't even want to fuck with but he pay your bills that's sad you know I know a few chicks like that. It's like, well, damn. That's a sad story. Because if you would have just worked hard and got your own shit, got your own bag, and did what you wanted to do, you won't need a nigga for money. But that was just there though. I don't want my nigga to have money and have a car. Okay, well, man, he out driving, giving other bitches money. That's it. I always told chicks, right? Because you know me, I, I, like, I got a sister and I got a, um, 
lot of female friends. And I always tell chicks, this is some of the best game I think I ever gave a chick, man. I just, I said, you know, um, <sighs> fuck the nigga that, how, how can I, how, how can I, I'm trying to think how, how I tuned up. Fuck the nigga that make you think. That's it. Not fuck them like leave them alone. If you want to fuck anybody in this world, anybody in this world, fuck the nigga that make you think. And a lot of y'all like, wait, what? <laughs> Females, hold on. I'll, listen, it's coming, it's coming. How many niggas you fuck already in life that didn't make you think? Almost all of them, right? So I always tell them, fuck the nigga that make you think. That's it. It's, the, it's really that simple. Y'all too busy fucking people for money cars and he look good. At, nigga ain't never give you a conversation. The, the nigga never showed you a better life or how to do nothing. Fuck the nigga that make you think. That's it. It's really that simple. I bet you the niggas you come across, right, from here on out, you will be like, this nigga, this nigga really is like regular or he basic or he's stupid because you won't realize a lot of niggas don't even make you think. A lot of niggas don't even ask you questions that have you like, well, well, actually, I don't, exactly. Fuck the nigga that make you think. It's really that simple. Some chicks already know that. They probably don't know that way of me saying it. Fuck the nigga that make you think. But a lot of chicks won't even think about being intimate with you until they feel like you know you different. And once a nigga make you think, he already different. Because niggas do not make females think. Exactly how it go. Girl meets boy. Boys seem perfect. Go to Applebee's or a date, right? Go to Applebee's or a date. Text and talk a little bit more. Next meetup, you get fucked. Stop me when I stop telling the truth. That's typically how it go. I don't give a fuck if the bitch got one body, the bitch got 30. That's typically. Not all the time, of course. Oh, no, he took me on three dates. Relax. Typically. That's how it go. I can I can't even count how many times I had sexual intercourse with a girl based off that method I just told you. I'm keeping it a bee. I can't even make I can't even think of the number of how many times I fucked the bitch off that method. Just girl meets boy, talk a little thorough shit, go on a little dumbass day, text a little bit more, the next visit I'm busting down. I can't even count how many times I did that. That's the typical thing. You're, they're not making you think that fast. But that's just the way it go because everything is so fast because y'all standards and the things that y'all want can be easily brought to the table. If a nigga had to mentally make you think, you know how long that that's going to take on average for a nigga just to make you think. Bitch, by the time he make you think, that should be the time you want to fuck it. You not making nobody think. Ain't no fucking two weeks. It's because your status is, my nigga gotta have money, my nigga gotta have a car. Once the nigga got the money in the car, the, the car gonna take you on a date, the money gonna pay for the date, and he gonna fuck you. Stop making it all well now, nigga, they fucking me. Shut the fuck up. It's this one girl, man. Like, this shit making me so mad because this is one girl that I follow, right, y'all, on my life. You would think this bitch is a virgin, like, oh, these niggas ain't touching me. Oh, no, ever the... F yo, and when I tell you, when I tell you, yo, I be like, yo, like, how can you even say these words knowing that somebody fucking you and recording you? Like, 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 like that bothered me that you could really get on this social media shit and just cap like ain't nobody fucking you. Like, she really... You would really think you would have to be a billionaire to touch this girl, man. Like, oh, whoa, well, I would never fuck none of these niggas out. I'm like, yo, but she's lying. Hella cat. See... Bitches be fucking on one nigga, right? And think because there's only one nigga that ain't nobody gonna know. Bitch, nigga. Yo, so stop that. But back nigga, my, uh, my point, though. Fuck the nigga that's gonna make you think. Because the famous method, that's, like, all y'all bitches get fucked up that method. And the crazy part about it, some of y'all know the method, and you still get fucked. True story, right? I'm not gonna tell you who the girl is. It was one girl, right? Um, I did it live. And I was talking about something similar to this, right? And, um... I didn't know she was in there. So, when 
I took my shot or whatever, right? She said, oh, I, I watched it live. I already know how this is about to go, right? I would not make this up. I said, oh, for real? I was like, thanks, right? Because I said, oh, for real, thanks. But I ain't want to. I took my shot. Then she said, I watched it live. I already know where it's about to go. Now, at the end of the day, I didn't did a hundred lives. I ain't know which one she watched. So I said, okay, thanks, right? And she told me, oh, so that's all you wanted? Well, I said, no. You feel like you know me already, so it ain't no point in me trying to get to know you. She's like, oh, no, it ain't like that, yada, yada, right? Got her number, right? I did the famous, the famous method on her, right? Right after I fucked, she said, shaking my head. I said, what? She told me something. That famous method just worked. I started cracking the fuck up. She knew what I was going to do. I did it, and it still worked. You know how caught up you got to be to, to do that? Like, I told her. Well, not, not not told her, but she watched my live. And I was talking about the family. I did it, and it worked, and she knew it worked. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It's just, it's just, that's just how it go. It's just like you can't stop it from happening because it feels so real. Like, I met him. I liked it him. He got a car. He got money. He took me on a date. We texted a little bit more. Next time I saw him, I wanted to fuck him. That's just how it go. Y'all gotta fuck that nigga that make you think because out of my whole life, with some real shit, I probably hit majority of my bitches because I make them think because I know what to say. I'm asking you certain shit. So, you know, there's a lot of guys out there like me, but not just like me, but you know, got the same, you know what I mean? But you gotta make these bitches think. You know, but every bitch I made think though, I feel as though I liked him at one point, or I wanted to be with him. It's hard for me to make a bitch think who I'm just trying to fuck because it's not in my mo. Like I don't care about how you was as a kid. I don't care about you know your middle name. I don't care about the fit. I don't care about none of that shit because I'm trying to fucking I already know that. But when I really like you, I'm going to use every trick in a book to get you where I want you at. And when I get you where I want you at, I'm going to appreciate it because I knew how hard it was to get you where I wanted you at. That makes sense? It makes sense to me. And then, you know, I can't fake make a bitch steak if I don't like you because, bitch, I don't care about none of that. You know how many bitches, niggas, and fellas, how many bitches you fuck, you don't even know their middle name? I don't know bitches' middle names. How you, that bitches be fucking a nigga that don't even make a middle name. Don't even know your birthday. How you fuck somebody that don't know the basic shit about you? Nigga don't even know what hood you from. What high school you went to. Middle name. Shit, last name. How? What the fuck is this even possible? But y'all think y'all so cute, bitch. You fucking with niggas that don't even know your credentials. That's crazy. That's crazy. And that's nasty. That's nasty. That the niggas you fucking don't even know the basic shit about you. And you thinking you better than somebody, or what? What? Y'all bitches better. Y'all bitches be eating dog food. I swear to God, y'all be eating dog food, bro. Let's run to y'all bitches be eating dog food pedigree. I'm gonna talk crazy to you, bitch. You fucking every, everything you fuck with know nothing about you. But all right, man, that's my time. I got to go. Let me go ahead and start my day. I'm gonna do what I got to do, man. Y'all listen, listen. Y'all do y'all. You know.